Five species of marine turtles occur in the waters around Kakadu National Park. The flatback, green, Oliver Ridley, loggerhead and the hawksbill. Known as Gunungal to its traditional owners, most flatback nesting takes place here on Field Island. We're on Field Island, which um, I'm a traditional owner of. Um, yeah, more or less doing uh, turtle uh, surveying. Um, and um, it's been great. Um, looking after the turtles and stuff like that, coming down, doing um, the tracking and stuff like that. Flatback is the only species of marine turtle listed globally as data deficient. In other words, there is not enough information to tell whether flatback turtle populations are declining, stable or increasing. In addition to that, there are major gaps in what we understand about its biology, about where it goes and what sort of habitats it uses, how fast it grows, what age it reaches maturity, that sort of stuff. The first surveys were done in the early 1980s and Parks Australia has been monitoring turtles on the island every year since 1994. Our work provides valuable information such as long-term population trends. It's one of the longest data sets for this species. This is crucial to the recovery plan for this threatened species. The data will also form a solid baseline and could act as an early warning signal for the effects of climate change. While the turtles are laying, you can measure and tag them. Also, we make a note of barnacles and other markings and count the number of eggs. And don't throw like plastic bag, otherwise the turtle will think it's like jellyfish or something and go and eat it. Just that nuts, they get caught up in the nets and they drown. The work we do on Field Island is very important to us. It helps us understand how flatback turtles are going on a regional and national scale so we can protect their long-term future.